what federal action, what federal support should be offered right now and would you advocate for? Yeah. First, I just want to extend my concern to all Iowans who have been devastated. This is a year, particularly for our farmers and folks in the rural areas, they're already suffering with economic challenges, with COVID, um, and the derecho on top of that is just almost too much to handle. And they do need help. Um, I would like to see the president uh, have a disaster declaration and get some help in here immediately. And, you know, this isn't a partisan issue, by the way, for anybody. Um, we all have friends and family who have been devastated, whether you live on a farm, in a small community, a big town. I have been in contact with many, many of my friends um, and elected leaders in Cedar Rapids in particular, and they need help now. You know, uh, we've never been hit with a pandemic like this for 100 years. Uh, I don't think we've ever been hit with this derecho kind of storm. Uh, big crises. Uh, Iowans will come out of this, but how do you think we're going to come out of this differently? How, how are we going to be a different people after this? You know, Iowans are tough, absolutely, and we've come together for years and years and years to help each other. Certainly when I was a youngster on the farm and there was devastation, we came together to help one another. We're going to continue to do it, and I hope that uh, we end the divisiveness that's going on in this country. Maybe that's something we can learn from this pandemic and this derecho. Um, as I've traveled the state, people want the divisiveness to end. They want us to work together. It's part of the reason I got in this race, um, to put Iowans first. And I am willing to stand up to anyone and work with anyone to make sure that we end that divisiveness. And we take action that um, is pragmatic and common sense and takes care of the needs of Iowans.